Timaru's Year 13 young enterprise student, Caitlin Joy Bradley, is currently songwriting with musicians Ricky Morris, Kaylee Bell, Jordan Luck, and Jamie McDowell, prompted by the death of her grandmother as well as her love of music. She's working to release her first album on Daffodil Day in partnership with the Cancer Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us, Caitlin Joy, and multi award winning musician Ricky Morris. Yes, there you go. It's so nice to have you here. Caitlin, let's start with you. So let me just get this right. So you're a year 13 student, a young mm -hmm. enterprise student and head girl at Roncalli College in Timaru. Yes. Um, this album is your young enterprise project, isn't it? Yes, it is. That, that's some school project. What are you doing for their school projects? Not this, obviously. Yeah, no, um, I think there are some other groups um, at my school who are making like recycled frisbees and things like that. but. I thought I'd do something which I have a real passion for and has been like part of my life for so long. Yeah, and we'll talk about why it is so important to you in just a minute, but I'll bring Ricky in here. Ricky, great to have you on the yeah, cafe, my friend. Here, um, what got you involved with this project from Caitlin Joy? Because she sounds like she's very enterprising, so yeah, how did she get you on board? Enterprising. Well, I know Caitlin's mum and dad, and Caitlin um, had the, um, the guts to, to get hold of me and um, I don't really know Caitlin that well, I've met her before, mm -hmm. but she just emailed me and said, hey, do you want to be involved? And because it is kind of close to my heart as well, um, I thought, yeah, this sounds like a good thing to be involved in. Perfect. And, and here and we he, are. And here you are. Yeah. So Caitlin, your grandmother, Myra, passed away, yeah. didn't she, of cancer yes, earlier this year. Did. So, I mean, she was obviously a big inspiration behind this album for you. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, my, because my both of my parents are very involved with music, being music teachers and musicians themselves, and so that's kind of something that's been passed down through the family and Grand's love of music as well. So I thought I'd do something that she would love. And Myra was your mum's mum, but your dad's mum, Grandma Joy, she also passed away uh, when you were quite young, or was it even before you were born? Yeah, it was before I was born that she passed away. Mm. So it obviously means a lot to you and your family. Yeah, yeah, so we have a lot of connections with cancer in the family, so, yeah. That's a tragic thing, is it? Everybody does, just about, don't they? Um, Ricky, you've got first-hand mm. knowledge of it too. It's uh, Both of your parents yeah. were lost to cancer, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, my mum passed in 1996, and my dad passed away nearly two years ago. Yeah, both had cancer. Yeah. That's a hideous, it's a hideous yeah. thing, isn't it? It's really awful, yeah. Well, no, and, and what a beautiful project. And, you know, not only is it, um, you know, inspiring, but it's also tr a tribute to all those people it that, is, you know, that, that have been in your life that have lost their lives due to cancer. So well done, awesome. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Good work. OK, let's talk about the musicians that you've got involved, because you've got this legend as well. <laughs> yeah. And when we listed before the other people that are involved, how on earth did you track them down? Is it hard to get them involved? Um, well, musicians are always kind of hard to organise because they're all <laughs> in a million places at once. Yeah, but no, they've been really good keeping on their tails and things. But um, I've met Jamie before in Jordan, and Kaylee was like a really close friend, and I've opened for the other two when they come down to Timaru and. Yeah, so just lots of connection before then. So it obviously hasn't come out of nowhere. I mean, you've obviously got this huge musical background, but now you're putting it toward this this album. How has it been writing the songs with people? Have you all have you all coordinated that? Yeah, well, I think most of the songs have I've written the base of them, and then I'm getting each of the artists to bring their own flavour to it. Ricky, how have you found working with Caitlin? So simple. We had a little session like the day after Caitlin came up from Timaru and it's like I'd been kind of writing with her forever. <laughs> it was really, <laughs> wow. really simple. You know, and um, a as you will no doubt hear and see, um, you know, Caitlin's an incredibly talented young lady and um, I just felt like we were on a connection straight away. It was amazing. And that would mean a lot coming from you, because I know that you've been involved with quite a few of our stars in New Zealand, yep. Lord to name a few, uh, <laughs> very, Jim very Wigmore, who else yeah. have we got? Yeah, lots of them. Yeah. So, so you know, how, what have you done for them in terms of, you know, mentoring and helping out? I think it's really just, um, you know, especially with, say, Jin and, you know, people like Finn Andrews from The Vales and, and The Cheeks. Mm. And Lord was very, it was very, um, uh, I didn't do very much with, with Ella, but um, I think it's just a matter of pushing the boat out for them okay. and, and giving them the confidence to, to go out there 
and know that they've actually got something. I think uh, I'm pretty good at recognising talent in people. I think that's you know, something Definitely. that I know that I can do. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a reward for me as yeah. well. You know, I mean, I remember watching Ella win all those Grammys, you know, and three years before that, she was standing in my lounge recording her first demos. Wow. You know? And it, so it's like, wow, that's very the, cool. I remember the first times I heard those too, they were just so phenomenal. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing, yeah. Well, it so, could be you, yeah. Caitlin. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's the thing, you know, this, this, this industry is crazy, you know, it, and, and crazy it, things can happen. And you, you know, I just know that you know Caitlin's mature enough and and talented enough to, to really give it a push. You yeah. know? You're, you're quite some year thirteen there, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> so not only are you doing the album though too with all these people, you've got a booklet that goes along with it as well, and that's I got do. more incredible people in it. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So I thought um, a big part of this is I don't just want to showcase um, the songs and the music. I want to make sure that there's a platform where the stories can be shared. So in there, like, I'll have stories from Ricky and, like, Stan Walker and Jake Bailey um, and my own personal story about everything. And it kind of ties the songs together into what this all is about. So, yeah. And oh how, how did that actually work? Did they tell you their stories? Like, you've got um, Stan Walker stories in there as well. Did they tell you or did they? Did you interview them or how did it actually work? Or did they just write you something? Send yeah. you an email? Yeah, they just wrote me something over email. But I really hope that I can kind of... Get, um, get them on the phone and had talked to them a bit deeper about it. Was it all that time that you've got with making this album and also finishing school, etc.? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and, what, and what's your role, Ricky, in terms of making sure that we get the album out and that the, you know, the, the book's ready? Are you, are you just concentrating on the music side or are you uh, doing a bit more? Yeah, well, I've, I've kind of, I think I'm going to probably end up taking a, a bit of a producer role. Nice. You know, just because I, you know, I know the studio that we're going to be going into, wow. and um, because I've just worked in studios so, you know, for so long, <laughs> yeah. and, and Caitlin's, Forever. Yeah, yeah. Caitlin's new to it all. So what you need is someone just yes. to kind of guide the day. We've only got a day in the studio, so it's oh. really quick. We're going to, you know, I mean, you can spend months in the studio. So we just need someone just to kind of guide the ship. And, I, and I've gone, I'll do it. So <laughs> You are a good man. You're the guy who builds the house and is the one who's telling all the plumbers That's and everything right. to come in at the right time to That's build the exactly right things. Right. And yeah. hopefully I'll get a chance to maybe play something or, or sing something. Of or, course, you know, yeah. I think that'll end up happening too. And obviously, you know, it's a tribute, it's a project. But what do you want people to get out of this, Caitlin? Um, I really want people to just start the conversation and talking about it because so many people struggle with it and it's just about knowing that you're not alone. Everyone, almost everyone has a connection with cancer firsthand and if it's not firsthand, someone in your community will have cancer. Mm. So, right. well, you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. And Daffodil Day is when you want it to be out, so you're going to yeah. tie it in with Daffodil Day. Yeah. And there's also a Pledge Me thing that you're doing as well. Yes, so I'm using Pledge Me to kind of get the funding going. Um, but that's mostly for pre-sales and things. So if you want to support my project, you can go onto there and yeah, that's the way you can We've support We've got it on screen there right now. Um, so I really hope that you get, oh, you don't even get A's anymore though, do you? It's <laughs> overachieved, what's that? <laughs> don't, don't don't project. Yeah. Um, so the money that you raise from the pledge, what's that going to go to? Um, that's going to go to, I'm going to take a percentage of it and give it to the Cancer Society. Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, no, well, no, this is a great collaboration. So many different things going on, which I think is a brilliant project. And, you know, having a legend like Ricky as well and everybody else involved, Caitlin. It's a pretty good start. Yeah, it's a pretty good start, as you yeah. said, Mel. A. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Um, and good luck with everything. Thanks. Yeah. We're going to hear you sing yeah. soon. Can't wait. Looking forward to seeing you maybe up at the uh, the Music Awards someday, too. <laughs> you know? I reckon you can be up there in the background yeah. going, yes. <laughs> uh, you can check out Caitlin Joy's Facebook page for more information about her project. Please also give generous to her Pledge Me campaign is for a very, very good cause.